Hello YouTube, welcome to our channel. It's Uchewezi and Asma Zakari again yeah. on your screens. <laughs> but this time around, we're doing a collaboration with um, DN yeah. Vlogs. Oh. Yeah, so it's going to be a synchronization between Uchewezi Asma Zakari and, and then our auntie, auntie Shola from auntie DN Shola. Vlogs. Yeah. <laughs> So please do kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, Asma Zakari, uh, Uche Wazi, and DN Vlogs. Yes, we're going to, to link. We're going to link our channel in the description yeah, below. Yeah, so yeah. subscribe. I'm also going to link Asma's channel in the description and my own channel. She also do same on her own channel. We're doing a YouTube collaboration, juicy, interesting topic. So you guys check it out. Check out Asma's video. Check out my video and also Antishala's video. Thank you so much, Antishala for this collaboration yeah Auntie Shola, thank you thank you thank you we really appreciate really you appreciate. but Auntie Shola, i want to be like you when i grow up. honestly honestly <laughs> honestly god bless you so much ma Love thank you so, so much. much please Love don't forget you. to subscribe to our channel bye bye <laughs> I want to welcome you and my name is Shola Away. This is DN Vlogs Live. It's a channel where I have different things going on, mostly family vlogs and I do it with my husband and my two girls. I live in the United States of America, Houston, Texas and we do all sorts of things. We are living in diaspora, we are hustling. <laughs> But basically, what you see is what you get on this channel, DM Vlogs Live. And this is the sister channel to Discovery Natural. This is the natural hair channel. That's my other channel. But thank you so much for coming over. Case the jam maker. Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. All right, today is a collaboration video. I'm doing a collaboration video with um DN Vlogs. Yes, I'll drop and then with Uche Wazy. Those are the two amazing, beautiful um, um YouTubers that I'm collaborating with. DN Vlogs is a um, YouTuber based in the US. Why Uche Wazy is a YouTuber based here in Nigeria, in fact, Port Harcourt. And we are doing a collaboration video, and I am speaking about the difficulties of being a YouTuber here in Port Harcourt, in Nigeria, to be specific. So do try, go check them out and watch their own. DM Vlogs is doing a different topic. Uche Wazy is also doing a different topic. All right. Um... I'm actually a portable based YouTuber and I started I started YouTube like not to a year though like let's say like 10 months ago or so and it's really not been easy you, yeah the, 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 the hustle is real it's not first and foremost which is something most of you have heard over and over again but I'll still bring it forward is the Niger factor electricity being a YouTuber in Nigeria, it's not easy because our electricity is not consistent. Even in Port Harcourt, you could even stay almost like three days, there's no light and there's no reason. And that on its own, it's not easy because we need to film, we need to edit our videos. Number two, maybe I'll be tempted to number it, but there are so many of them, is the data. Our data here, our bandwidth services are super, super expensive. You could just be maybe on a live stream example for one hour. One gig is gone, just like that. Yes, so the data here is very, very expensive. It's not easy. And then number three, especially the vlogging part. You see, um, this vlogging is somehow new to us here. Like, it's not been long. Nigerian YouTubers are popping up here and there. So vlogging is something that is very, very difficult to cope with in Nigeria. Now, you go, especially on, in the market or on the street, you want to vlog. The way people will be looking at you. It's, it's, if you're not even careful, they could even snatch your camera from you. So those are one of the struggles. And then as a beginner, when I started, I wasn't sure of, okay, I already had the niche in my head. I knew I was all about beauty and lifestyle, but I didn't know what kind of content to put out there. At the beginning, I was confused. I was putting out makeup content. I was putting out DIY content. I was putting out tips on beauty and lifestyle. And I was just checking out which one had more views. At some point, the makeup videos were having more views. At some point, the beauty um, and the DIYs were having more views. I was a little bit confused. I didn't know. And there are times, in fact, that one was even much more, if I almost depressing. Now, there are times that you put out a content 
instantly you lose subscribers and you wonder uh, uh, did this content annoy this person so it, 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 it's very very confusing and it's very very challenging and um you listen to other big YouTubers that talk about niches, talk about um, how to retain your audience. You use those advice, but it seems like it doesn't work. Like, you know, sometimes people's experiences are different, different. You might listen to this person, work with it. The person, it works for them. You, you do it and it might not really work for you. So that thing could be very demeaning. Now you go in, you, you shoot your best shot. It doesn't work out. You have to start going back to your drawing table to look for what else to put out. And then you um, try your best to um, engage your audience. Sometimes the, the audience really, really get engaged. Sometimes they disengage. That one on its own too is on a new level where you get so angry sometimes. Like sometimes I get angry. I don't know if it's with myself or it's with you. I don't know. There are times I even get tempted to quit. And then um, the energy, the time invested in, on YouTube. Like me, I am I'm married. I have kids. I have other responsibilities, but then I have to always look for time to be on YouTube. I have to be consistent. I have to keep my subscribers um, a lot. I have to keep them on the go. Like, they are there for a reason. They, they came to achieve something. They came there to get value. And if you're not consistent, definitely some might unsubscribe. Some might just be there, but because you're not consistent, they might not really have you on their mind. The fact that, you know, okay, this YouTuber that they are following um, uploads like two or three times in a week, at least they are always ready for it. You understand so um honestly speaking life as a youtuber as a struggling youtuber in nigeria is really really not easy honestly speaking it has a lot of challenges there are times that i wake up and i'm so frustrated i don't even know how to start filming a certain um content i actually know what i have on my mind but i don't even know how to start and then i'm human i wake up sometimes i have moods uh -huh. and i have to be careful to separate my swinging mood from my youtube I have to always come in front of the camera, smile, dance, laugh, and just, you know, entertain. And, you know, um, when it has to even do with my beauty and lifestyle tips where I educate, I have to be very careful, select my words wisely and very informatively for whoever is watching, even if the person is science inclined or not, the person should pick value from whatever it is I am saying. So with this few tips, there are so many, but man, I don't want to bore you. So this is like one of my struggles, my personal struggles. I don't know about other, other um, YouTubers, but my own personal struggles, these are the few I have. Please don't forget to check with them um, DN vlogs and then don't forget to also check Uche Wazy because this is a collaboration video thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much i see all of you and i love all of you thank you for coming back to watch my videos love you bye see you in another video bye